unit is authorized for military use only. Possession by an individual is a class one felony. Welcome to the Hammond Pilot Certification Simulator. Warning, unregistered user detected. Key accepted. Training pod is authorized. Welcome, pilot. To calibrate the AR display, please look at each of the red lights. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the video. Today, we're going to be talking about some Titanfall, as you guys may or may not have seen. I'm sure you saw it yesterday. Uh, the NDA was lifted, and a bunch of YouTube personalities like myself and many others started posting on Titanfall. Uh, so Titanfall has been the big thing over the last few days. The beta comes out tomorrow for the general public, uh, but a few people were lucky enough to get their hands on the beta early, uh, and that's why we have some of this footage here for you guys today. So this footage right here is what happens when you get right into the game. I'm sure this will be in the finished version of the game as well, because it's very very handy and it's actually pretty polished to be honest as well uh, this is basically just a training center and you may be like oh well this is the same thing in any other game it's like Call of Duty or anything like that and I would say it is it is very similar uh, to when you jump into a Call of Duty game and you start out with their training simulators the difference is Titanfall you need it so I'm very glad this is kinda of where you jump into because stuff like this pilot uh, training module 2 that we're getting into now uh, where it's wall runs I would have no clue how to wall run uh, so spending a few minutes and uh, something like this is really handy and at the end of this there's a little Titan fight that is really actually pretty cool uh, where it's just you and then you fight against Titans and see how long you can survive which we will also release later today uh, in another video so it's gonna be a double whammy today you guys will see both of those uh, and you can see look at that failing to wall run it is a little bit weird for as far as mechanics go uh, to get used to right away once you start playing for a little bit I will say wall running and things like that become pretty easy as you can see even there getting a pretty good combination of wall runs uh, is not too hard to do and it is just a little weird to get used to, like I said. Uh, pretty much all the mechanics are like that in the game. Uh, but once you start playing a little bit, certain combinations start to work out really well. So, for instance, uh, you can't really see that too much in this, but you will later on. Uh, when you eject from your Titan, you get launched into the air. So there's a lot of things you can do because you don't really have any other opportunities to get launched as high up as you do. So it kind of can become a strategy when your Titan starts to get low health and you get uh, ejected into the air to go into buildings that you normally couldn't get on uh, maybe sniping from there and you really get some really uh, unique experiences uh, in this game that you just don't get anywhere else uh, riding on the back of people's Titans stuff like that that you just normally can't do like in Call of Duty there is no tall object with legs that you can jump on and run around with uh, so one of the features right here you can see is this double jump feature and double jumping becomes a very key part of the game. Every character gets it. It's not a special pack, although you can better your uh, double jump ability by ways of different, like, perks uh, would be kind of a way to put it. But kind of your, your pilot's class can have different abilities. And one of them is increasing your double jump. Um, so you can see kind of here, uh, utilizing all of those, that kind of ability where you can make things better for double jump and wall run longer, uh, that's an ability that comes in handy as well. And definitely something that when doing loadout guides, which I'm sure we will do later on, uh, could become handy. So anyway, you can see they're making it to the end of that module as well. Not too bad. So in module six, they introduced this cloak idea. Now this cloak is interesting. I would say it's somewhat similar to the Halo cloak, uh, which, like I said, it's kind of interesting. You can see what happens to your character here. Uh, it's it's not as good as a cloak in Crisis if you've ever played that, but I will say it's it's a pretty good cloak. The thing with the cloaking is it's mainly meant for not letting Titans see you, not so much not letting other players see you. So you just got to keep that in mind that the main purpose of your cloaking is not to hide from players, but mainly to hide from Titans, uh, which really does become helpful. Uh, you know, I, I I don't know. For, as far as I've seen with cloak, you can you can see people pretty visibly. It's not. It's not great, it's not, I don't know, you'll, you'll have to see it later on. It's mainly meant for Titans though, as you'll see. You can see the assassination feature is pretty cool as well there. It's very similar to other games like Halo, uh, where the assassination from behind is just, it's rewarding. It's very, very nice uh, to go ahead and get behind people. The next thing to introduce here is the Smart Pistol. Now the Smart Pistol in game is not as powerful as I'd like it to be, although it's pretty good. It's, it's a very, very aggressive weapon. You need to be moving around sneaking up on people quite a bit um, it's a good weapon no doubt although I will definitely say 
it's not as good as it is against these grunts. It's not one-hit kills. It's not automatically lock on the head, although it does automatically lock on, and that's pretty cool. You do have to be relatively close, um, so maybe that'll change by the time the game gets released. I doubt it will, uh, but stuff like this where there's four people, it is very cool because you can shoot them all. You can see me kind of messing with the, the gun just to see what happens, what the range is. Um, it's a cool gun, no doubt, and it's definitely unique. Uh, that lock on ability, it's very cool. Uh, but uh, it, it's not as good as stuff like shotguns and machine guns, at least in my opinion thus far. So as you can see here, another lock-on mechanic where it locks on with three different bullets. Kind of a cool thing as well there, you can see. Overall though, like I said, not my favorite weapon. Moving on to module 8, we have a firing range. Uh, the firing range is, is a pretty good little uh, example of other guns, like this carbine right here, this R101C carbine. This is a pretty good gun, definitely one that I like a lot more than the pistol, and you can see aiming down the sights. Uh, stuff is really, really easy to kill, right? These drones uh, that you'll see in-game as well are very easy to kill. Uh, I will say the drones are very balanced right now from what I've seen. I don't want to go into too much of a review of the game, which we will show you in gameplay, but the the way things feel is pretty good. Uh, one thing that's extremely weird that you guys are about to see is the grenades. They are extremely weird. Uh, you want them to kind of be treated like every other game where they kind of have a curve to them. So when you throw a grenade, it's kind of like a, an arc where they, they go up and they come down. Whereas with this game, they go like straight. It's, it's odd. And you can see me missing a lot because you've got to aim straight into the, the places. Like it goes where you throw it. And it's really apparent when you play the game. It goes straight, like wherever you throw the grenade is where it's going to go. Whereas with other games like Call of Duty, you got to kind of aim a little above because gravity's going to pull the grenade down. So that's really it for the training sessions, guys. You can see the start of the battle here that happens, uh, which we will get into later on uh, in another video uh, for you guys coming out today. Um, this is going to introduce some titans and things like that, which I don't want to do all in one video because it's about 20 minutes of footage. So stay tuned later today, probably in a few hours, uh, I will have a video. This is just the training simulator for titans, and it's actually pretty cool because it's kind of like last titan standing, and it's you versus however many titans you can handle until you die. So it's pretty cool. Although in the beginning here you can see uh, it's just against other characters which are pretty easy to deal with. Also you can see right here trying to use the titan weapon because I had no clue what I was doing. Although this sidewinder is meant for titans, uh, it works relatively well against the grunts too. Um, you can kind of see though the grunt balance that's happening right here. I was just standing in the middle of the hallway. The grunts aren't too big of a deal to deal with. Uh, they're nothing nothing heavy, nothing that does a lot of damage. You can actually walk up to grunts and melee them with one kick in the face, and they die. And you could probably take four or five grunts on at a time uh, by just kicking them one at a time each and taking shots from them. So do keep that in mind as well. I wanted to throw that in there. Uh, grunts are not overpowered. A lot of people were complaining about, you know, maybe grunts will be too good or not good enough, and they could really sway the way the battle works. And honestly, they did a great job with grunts. Uh, it makes the game feel like it's going quickly without having too many issues uh, with there being nobody in the game, just six players on each side. Uh, the grunts really make it feel like there's a hundred people on each side in a huge battle. So anyway guys, that's all I have for you today. Stay tuned, in a few hours we will have a video explaining that guy that just dropped and some cool stuff along those lines. So thanks for watching guys. If you did enjoy and you found it helpful, please leave a thumbs up and a favorite and I will catch you guys in the next.